Вечер в хату, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna do screen color shift effect. It will help you to make more realistic scenes. For example, if you will look on OLED screen from the angle, you will see this effect. You can even see it in Star Citizen game when you look on the screen from the angle. So let's jump right into the cinema, fire up the Octane Render, and let's do it. I have here this fancy computer that I found on Sketchfab, so I will leave the link below. So let's start from creating new universal material and rename it to Screen Tutorial. Then simply select the screen area and drag the material on it. Go to Node Editor, create image texture and put any image you like. I already did it and adjust the image and then plug it into the albedo channel. Now it's quite dark, so let's brighten it up with the help of the emission. Drag out the connection line from it and choose texture emission. Connect our image texture to the texture input and then we need to play with the power a bit. Turn on surface brightness and put the power to 1. After, let's drag out the falloff map and connect it to albedo. That's how our transition will work. Let's solo that node and after, rotate camera a bit Angle it, and you'll see the effect starts to work. Play with the fall of skew factor to enhance this effect. Then, while you're holding Alt button, drag out Octane Gradient on a connection line and it will connect immediately. Don't forget to solo Gradient node, because I forgot to do it firstly, and then crank up black and white values for better control over this transition gradient. When it's done, let's drag out Mix Texture node and put our gradient to amount and our image texture to texture 1 input. After, connect our mix texture node to albedo channel and also don't forget to plug it in into emission texture node. To test how it works, let's put to texture 2 flow texture node and put the value of 1. Then start rotating your camera and when it's angled you should see how the screen becomes white. Works fine, let's back our camera and drag out the image adjustment node and plug in our texture image in it. Solo it and let's go to the parameters. Don't forget to check on the parameter you want to change. Set red mapping to green. Go to brightness adjustment and let's play with these parameters. Here you have a big fill to play with to get the look you want. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Here I played with a brightness contrast and lift to get more bright and look. When it's done, go to color adjustment, turn it on, play with hue shift, choose the color you want and after you can saturate or desaturate the image. Moreover, you can choose the color and tint it, that way you can blend the hue shift and tint color. When you're satisfied, let's go to hue range, turn it on. Here you can choose the color you want to apply all these color adjustments. Changing hue range width and hue range softness, you can control tolerance and area of the effect. For example, as you can see, I choose the green color and all the bushes now become different color. It's working like a keying effect. Instead of green color, let's pick the rolled color and then play with the range width and range softness. When it's done, let's go down find the clamp effects and turn it on. Here we need to play with the clamp low and clamp high values to get more desaturated look. It will look quite ugly, but for now it's good. When we successfully done to make our image nasty, turn on the output tint and play with the shadows, midtones and highlights. Here I will choose quite unusual colors to get the look like screen matrix is going to be dead soon. Don't forget to play with midtone luminance numbers. When we killed all the beauty of our image, let's go up to hue range and make the final adjustments. Here I try to soften all the transition between sharp colors. Finally, I decided to change blue mapping to green. Beautiful image, isn't it? Emotional damage! You want some therapy? Now it's time to collect all together, delete flow texture, plug in our image adjustment instead, turn off solo mode, rotate your camera. And if you still cannot see the obvious effect of color shifting, you need to go back to falloff node and make a small adjustment to falloff skew factor. Play with it until you see the effect. To finalize your result, you can go to gradient and also play with the black and white values. Congratulations! Now your screen also has a color shift effect. Good job. As you can see, it's real-time effect, so you can rotate your camera at the angle you want to, left, right, up or down. That's it. Hope you like it, enjoy it, learn something new. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and ring the bell to not miss all the new upcoming cool stuffs. 
Make your comment below and show me how you did your screen color shift. Check my art station market when you can find a lot of cool stuffs like realistic rain shader pack, modular corn and many more. Also I have a Patreon when you can find all my tutorials and tutorial project files and much more. So be my Patreon, you can find the link below. And don't forget that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine that is very important now. So stand with Ukraine, Virta Vzasu, Tavsebude, Ukraina.